Hi everyone, Louise from 805 Soap here. Um, today I'm going to be making a soap um, that this fragrance oil by Nature's Garden is called Purple Hooters. It doesn't have any vanillin in it, but it discolors the soap to a beige color. And I, I don't know, I don't know the chemistry of the, the fragrance oil. All I know is that it turns my soap an ugly brown color in glycerin soaps. So what I've devised to do is I made this in a container. I took about a pound of clear mountain pour. I put it in this container. I colored it and I fragranced it. And then I cubed it up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these cubes and I'm going to throw them right in my mold. And the reason why I do this is because if any of you know, a brown soap is not really pretty. I know I don't care for it, my customers don't care for it, but this is my way of getting around that con that, that vanilla content, uh, even if it's not in there, it just discolors the soap. There's something in that fragrance oil that's discoloring the soap. And I don't know what it is, but it is annoying and I hate it. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be loading this up, spraying some alcohol on the soap, on the soap in here, and then I'm going to be taking my base, which is white, and putting it on top of it, which this has cooled down quite a bit so you can see how liquid it is, which is really nice right now. And I'm sure if I touch this, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, I, I kind of test my finger in there. If I can put my finger in there, I know it's pretty cold. And I'm just going to be pouring this over. And this is one of the ways I've eliminated to having those soaps turn to a brown color that I hate. So I've got the embeds in there. And I'll show you some soaps because this won't be done for a couple of hours. Um, I have a customer that loves this fragrance oil and I can't stand it. <laughs> but we have to give the customer what the customer likes. So anyways, this is how we're doing this because I don't like the way it discolors and um, like I said, this is my way of hiding the discoloration in uh, a glycerin soap. And it works out pretty well. I mean, honestly, I'll show you some samples, examples over here that I've already finished. But like I said, even though if you look up on Nature's Garden about Purple Hooters, it just says that it turns the cold process soap to a beige color. Well, in Melt and Pour, it turns it to a brown color. And it's pretty, it's pretty nasty to look at and I don't like to look at it. I don't think it's a very eye appealing to my customer. Um, so, because these have to go into a retail shop. So I want something that's a little bit more eye appealing to my customer than that. And that's just me. But this is a great tip for people who, who, haven't, who are new to Mountain Pour. Um, and your soaps turn a, a nasty color. You can always do it this way. Make in beds and fragrance the embeds, color the embeds, and then throw them in the, in the soap and you'll get the fragrance on these that you would not believe. And I'm just gonna throw a little bit of glitter on here. And that should do it. But I'll show you these over here. Excuse my working area. It's bad. It's a mess. Um, I did it with the pink embeds. I did some over here that are really colorful. They're like two and three colors on the top. You can see them. And the soap really turns out cute. It's pretty. And this is another one. What I put the shreds and the embeds in. And this one, this one is notoriously for turning it dark brown. But the thing of it is, is that I put it in the embeds. So the embeds will turn. So it'll be like a chocolate with the white. And this is a lovely fragrance again. This is uh, vanilla honey dust, but it's really turns it brown. So 
This is just my um, solution to some of the problems that I've been coming up with with melt and pour and glycerin based soaps. I use molds like this and I'm going to pop these out and then I'm going to chunk them up. Um, I use molds like this, these, these straight molds. I just put like two pounds of soap in here, color it, fragrance it, cut it up, plop it in the white base. And um, it's been working out pretty well. I, I like the results that I've been getting. We'll see from my customer what they think of it and um, see how it turns out. But some of my best fragrances, unfortunately, um, do turn. And just working with the soap and experimenting with it, I think, is one of the things that you can do. But I found out that this has really helped me, and I hope it helps somebody, you, somebody of you out there. Plus, it's easy and it's fun um, to do. So this will be my next one. These will be the embeds for the oatmeal, milk, and honey. And I made all of the oatmeal little cubes with uh, oatmeal and honey in here. And so we'll see how this goes. But anyways, I just thought I'd share. And I hope everybody's having a great one. It's almost the holiday season time. And, of course, we're busy. And um, that's a good thing. But anyways, take care. Bye.